So it's been a while since we made our last video and we're actually starting this one at the end of the story or rather at the beginning of a brand new story as we leave behind our flat in Barcelona and we move to the countryside in Spain. We're going to be renovating a 120 year old house together as well as starting a homestead to grow our own food and begin restoring the old stone barn. To our subscribers and previous viewers, welcome back. We're really excited to be sharing videos again with all of you. And for anyone who is new to our channel, let's rewind a little bit and quickly catch you up on our story so far. We're Danny and Kate, and this is Paco. And recently we added a new addition to our family, Isabel. In 2020, we bought 12 and a half acres of land in the mountains in Catalonia. It has about 200 olive trees and a little stone house. We've been driving 200 kilometers each way back and forth at the weekends in between working full-time jobs to build ourselves a little off-grid cabin. We started with zero building knowledge and we've kind of been learning along the way. The plan was to move to the land once the cabin was finished and then we could start on the renovation of our stone tiny house and start to improve the land with regenerative agriculture practices to grow our own fruit and vegetables. But when we found out we were expecting a baby, we realized that meant things were going to be a little challenging to say the least. And so, three years after our first one, a new property hunt began. This time for a family house in the countryside. It needed to be close enough to our land that we could make daily visits and start on the renovation and tend to our garden, but still come home to clean running water and hot showers at the end of the day. We found the perfect place and we sealed the deal just days before I gave birth. Hello. So as you can see, we're talking to you from not our flat in Barcelona, not our cabin on the mountain, nor the little stone house. Um, so being us, we've taken on another project that we uh, <laughs> have yet to finish the others, but you know, an additional project. So yeah, what we've done is we've bought a little place in town. So this little house that we've bought is um, in the town that is right next to the piece of land that we have. Um, we're not going to get rid of that. We're going to continue building and use that as our um, place where we can grow fruit and vegetables and plant trees. And we still want to regenerate that land and kind of build our life up there. Um, but when we found out that we were pregnant and expecting uh, Isabel, we just decided that it was not practical for us to be living in Barcelona and kind of traveling to and from there and the Bayshebri region all the time. It's kind of two and a half, three hours drive. And we've lost all the space in the car with a pram <laughs> and a bassinet and blah, blah, blah. It's, we have no space. Yeah, by the time we have us, her, all the, the things, dog. the dog, there's barely any room for like clothes for a weekend so we we kind of reevaluated life a little bit um and decided that one thing we really wanted was to have space for family and friends to be able to come and stay and that just wasn't really possible in the place that we were renting in barcelona um and so we decided to buy a property yeah we took the big jump we left the city and uh, hopefully it's a nice place um to bring up our our little girl it's 100 yards to the river. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely little town. So we'll be showing you around the house so you can see what it is we've actually bought in the end. Um, it's a much better state than the cabin, don't worry. <laughs> it actually uh, has electric. Has water, has running electric. Running water, yeah, has which roof. we haven't had for years. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think three years ago we bought our property and every time we've come to this area we've had Nothing. Zero running water, yeah. no electricity. Um, yeah, we've been running on like a gas canister for a camping stove. Um, so this feels like a life of, life of luxury, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a lot of work that still needs doing, and we, you know, we have a lot of things that we want to do to this property. A lot of renovation projects, mm -hmm. but they're much smaller renovation projects than actually, you know, building a whole house as mm -hmm. we would be doing in the mountain, um, which of course just isn't practical at all with a newborn. Um, and so here we can actually live and renovate all in one space, just, you know, doing 
kitchen refurbs yeah. and bathroom refurbs, you know, as anybody would in a house. But we we can kind of live here and do those yeah. um, at the same time. And what I would say is without having done work on the cabin and on the land, we wouldn't have had the confidence to buy this place because it does need work. Um, but it's work now that we feel comfortable doing um, just because we've got more familiar with you know, being a bit more hands with the jobs and things. Yeah. And, you know, the land is now 15 minutes away. Um, so we, we can go up every day, we can do jobs uh, little by little, have a, a lot more progress rather than trying to do a, you know, a big slog on the weekend and then back to Barcelona in, in a week of work. So, yeah, we're hoping um, to mix up uh, what we show um, just because that's what we'll be doing. And hopefully you enjoy some more regular videos as well because, you know, while we're here, now we're here, it should be easier to get more things filmed, show a little bit more what's going on and that sort of thing. So we've come down this week, we're here for a full week. Um, Isabel's only five weeks old, so we'll see how much we can get done whilst we're here. Um, but it was a really go a good opportunity for us to kind of come down, live in the space um, and start fixing things a little bit. Uh, we want to move things around because um, in another video we're going to show you, you know, a full tour and explain what we actually want to do with this property. Um, but we thought it was a good idea to kind of live in the space and figure out how we could be here a bit more comfortably than we can be right now. Um, so there are a few things that we're going to do, like you know, pull out some of this cabinetry and make a bit more space um, so that we can kind of have you know, a living space, a sleeping space, the bathrooms are fine. Um, so that we know that we can come, we can live here very comfortably and start doing some of the other big renovation projects. So one big difference between buying a property here in Spain compared to the UK, um, we've also had local Catalan friends that have bought a place and had the same thing. Cute baby. <laughs> yeah. um, is that the house generally comes full of things. Um, so at home when someone moves out and says they're going to take their stuff, you come to an empty place, um, like with nothing. Which is kind of what we were expecting. He said he was going to leave maybe a wardrobe or something like that. Um, but we came and none of the stuff in the house is ours. This is all, you know, knickknacks from around the house. This is cabinets, there's TVs, there's a full set of table and chairs. There's beds, two double beds, two single beds sofa like it's a full house um, so one of the first jobs is going to be going through and, and sifting through that to decide what we'd like to keep and what we don't want to keep um, and then also obviously crack on with the renovation first it seems that someone's hungry so um, i think we better get on with that before getting on with uh, sorting through some of this stuff If you're interested in watching us build our little homestead, renovate the stone barn, start to plant fruits and vegetables and cultivate the land, 
and also renovate our townhouse and make changes to how this functions as a family home for us, then do keep watching. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, then please do consider doing so. Thank you so much for watching today's video and we'll see you on the next one.